The minute I booked my trip to Morocco, I knew I wanted to shop for a Berber rug made by the Berber people of the Atlas Mountains. The origins of the Berber carpet were entrenched in the culture that lives in this Moroccan mountain range, and as I would be saying near the foothills of the Atlas Mountains for a week, I knew that this was my chance to get the rug I wanted. Interestingly, the name Berber derives from an ancient Egyptian language term meaning outlander, and it's easy to see how they got their name, as, at least in Morocco, they live in far-flung villages throughout the tall Atlas Mountains. The Maghreb region in northwestern Africa is believed to have been inhabited by Berbers from at least 10,000 BC. Indeed, as we traveled through these villages and stopped at the shops, several people told us ancient stories of the people, their ancestors, who first arrived in this area and settled it before anyone else. Good morning from the Atlas Mountains. We are currently traveling through the Atlas Mountains. It's about 45 minutes from Marrakesh and right now I'm in a Berber village and our guide here at the village uh, speaks amazing English. He learned it all from the internet and television and movies. It's really impressive and he's just telling us about the local flora, fauna and um, economic activities here and it's pretty interesting. We were told a story, I don't know if it's true, but the story is that when the Berbers first arrived in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco, they had come from the hot desert regions. Women quickly realized that their children's feet got cold in the mountains and set to work weaving carpets to keep them warm. Carpet has different story. Why? Because we have the carpet <coughs> gift for man. When he get married, we have the carpet gift for woman. When she get married, you can study carpet by two options. First option by color. Yellow color is for man, red color is for woman. This is the first day color. He explained to us that every color and shape in the carpet has a rich meaning and rich symbolism. House. Doesn't the top? That look like house. For left to rather in the same house, we don't mm. problem in the future. I forgot to mention earlier that the museum we're in actually used to be the home of the chief of this village. So this is the Berber version of Sephora. Yes. <laughs> The carpet is an artistic creation of the Berber woman and reflects above all the phases in her life, her marriage, giving birth to children, and beyond. Moroccan Berbers have maintained many of their languages and traditions and their culture. As ancient as it is, it permeates modern Moroccan culture. One day, a taxi driver took us to a well-known carpet dealer in the region. The shop was in the Eureka Valley, which was surrounded by mountains and a stream. Later she went to sheaves also this, like this, okay. like this. Super cool. And how long does this take for her to make the... It's uh, complete. Example. Mm. Ça prend combien de temps de travail? Ça dépend de la mesure. Uh, par exemple, de sur trois. Par exemple, dans celui-là. Celui-là? Ça, uh, ça, ça. Ça prend trois mois, celui-là. Cool. 
after I received a lesson in carpet weaving, we were escorted downstairs into a large room stacked floor to ceiling with piles and piles of carpets. We were told that they were all in the traditional Berber style. The older style of carpet is recognized by its long, shabby, sheep wool yarn and vivid, modern, distinct geometrical patterns. That is, they look modern, but they're actually ancient. These are the closest to the black and white carpets that are so popular today. They're modern and fashionable in, in interiors now, but the style is actually ancient. We were seated like princesses on a couch and offered tea, but we were way too excited about all the colors, shapes, and patterns to sit still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, because I'm coincé. Uh, no, no, not for that. I like that, but not for What about, so are you interested in the rouge? That one? Over there? Uh, no. no. I don't like the verde. I'll put the How excited are you? I'm very excited and very worried for myself because I could probably buy all. No, me. No, no. Not for me. You're there. No. I bought the carpet that I love so much with the green pattern. We negotiate a bit, but out in this area it wasn't like the souks of Marrakesh and the negotiation wasn't quite as intense or dramatic. Once we verbally agreed on a price to seal the deal, I learned that I have to shake hands and we even kissed once on the cheek. They then wrapped up the rug in front of me and they managed to reduce it in size and wrap it up so tightly in paper and tape that I could take it on the plane with me as a carry-on. A few days later, I unwrapped a souvenir from Morocco in my home, now having a little piece of this country, its art and history, with me forever. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more about my travels, please click the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you know when I post new videos. Feel free to leave a comment, have you ever been to Morocco? And would you like to shop for a Berber rug someday? Let me know. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.